Step one, reheat that oven. Let's get a gravy going. A cup of water, turn that on. Throw in a veggie boom cube, rosemary, oregano, thyme, a little bit of chipotle powder, my nutritional yeast. The key to a great vegan gravy, shrooms. Baby Bellas or Bellas, they're like the same thing. Chop them up. An onion, same thing. Keep cloves of garlic. Into the pot. Drizzle with olive oil, salt, a balsamic. Crack some pepper. Cool, we can put this on the back burner while we get the next part started. Sweet potatoes. Little bite size, little, little pieces. If we put the vegetables in raw, it won't take too long and the crust will end up burning. So we're gonna cook these a little bit beforehand, kinda get them started. Oh, surprise, this one's purple. Throw all these into a pot. I'm gonna add a little water in there to get it kinda going. Put in a squash. I'm gonna put the squash in the pre-cooked too. It gets a little crunchy otherwise, and I, but it doesn't need as much time as the potatoes. So I can put it in after the potatoes. Throw this into the mix. Carrots, cut this thing lengthwise. A few more mushrooms, because I love mushrooms. Onion, a pie crust, which is one and a half cups of flour, salt, about a half cup of vegan butter, and clump this all together. Break up all those butter clumps. Add a little bit of cold water at a time until we get it looking like a crust. Always make sure you have cold water. Okay, uh, so this is going to be our pot for our pot pie. Um, I always like to lay out some flour to keep it from sticking. And I'm going to use about three quarters of this. And then I'll put it on top and bottom so the rolling pin doesn't stick. And then rolling. Cool, that's pretty good. Pretty thin and enough to cover the sides. Um, so whenever there's missing spots, I'll just kind of press some dough into them. Let's leave this for a moment. So we've got these potatoes that are in here. They're probably pretty cooked now. Drain the water out. I'm gonna put them all back in this pot. Put the other veggies in there. A couple others that I want to put in. We've got some frozen peas. What's a pot pie without frozen peas? You can obviously put whatever you want in here. If you don't like one of these vegetables, just swap it out with a favorite of yours. Oh, this is a brick. Damn it. Can't put the whole spinach brick in there. Now stay there until you've thought about what you did. And I'm gonna very gently blend this because I don't want it to splatter everywhere. Cool, and if it's still looking thin, feel free to add a little bit of flour to it, you know, make some flour in there. Picking that up, or cornstarch, if you want to do cornstarch. So we go back over here, stir the veggies all around so they're really mixed, and then we are going to pour them into the pot pie. Pour the gravy on top of it all. Oh shoot, don't pour too quickly. Give it time to like sink into the cracks. Ow, it's burning me. Now let's do the top. Flour out, roll it. Place the lid over the, oh, that wasn't quite big enough. Oh well, whatever, it's gonna be great. Pro tip, you're definitely going to want this to be on top of a cookie sheet because it's going to go everywhere. So, and put it into your preheated oven. I'm going to let that cook for like 30 minutes or so. There you go. Pot pie. Enjoy. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks so much for watching that video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification button. Leave a comment, like, share, all those things. Uh, and I will see you next Wednesday with a brand new recipe.